This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in from a user asking, how can I set up subtools to use the Dynamesh Subtract function? So here I just have a Cyberman helmet here, and right now this mesh is one solid Dynameshed object, and I want to come through and subtract this cavity out of the helmet, and then also subtract eye and mouth geometry. So how can I go by doing that inside of ZBrush? So the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure we have a Dynameshed model. So here I just have the helmet here, and this model has Dynamesh active, and its current resolution is set to 512. Next, we need to have the other subtools that we want to subtract from the helmet. So I have this inner cavity here, and then I have an eye sub here. Now, these pieces were made using two different processes inside of ZBrush. So the eye sub here is using dynamic subdivision and was created with the Z Modeler brush. So before we do the Dynamesh Subtract function, we need to make sure that all our geometry is converted to true geometry. So right now this is in dynamic mode. So we just need to come to this eye subtool here and just apply that to turn it into traditional geometry. Now I've come back up and we'll check the inner cavity as well. And we can see this cavity has subdivision and is in Dynamesh, so that one is good to go. So now we need to just return to our helmet and we need to set the subtract option on the subtools we want to subtract from. So the inner cavity is going to be the first process we're going to do. So I'm going to toggle this subtractive icon over here on the subtool menu. And now I'm going to perform a merge down with the helmet selected. And this will merge this inner cavity model into the helmet subtool. So to do this, we're going to the merge option here and we're simply going to click merge down. You're going to get a little dialog that pops up. We're just going to hit always OK for this one. Now, after this is processed, you're going to notice that those two subtools are merged together. If you turn on your polyframes, I'm going to turn off line here, you're going to notice that the cavity subtool that was set to subtract has a white polygroup applied to it. So, this white polygroup is going to tell ZBrush the next time I read Dynamesh, it's going to subtract that part out of the model. Now this white polygroup can be assigned by doing a merge down to a subtool that has that subtractive option set, or it could also be assigned by coming down here to the polygroup tab, and there is an option for group as Dynamesh sub. And this is going to allow you to isolate parts of geometry, you can group it as Dynamesh subtractive, which will end up giving you that white polygroup, and then the next time you Dynamesh, it will subtract that part from your model. So to do this subtraction process, I just need to reapply the Dynamesh. So I'm going to hold Control, and in a blank spot on my canvas, I'm simply going to drag out and release. After that process is completed, you're going to notice that I now have a nice cavity in this helmet here. So that cavity subtool that I had set to subtractive has been subtracted out of the model. Now I can go back and do the same thing with the eye subtool as well. I'm just going to set that to subtractive do a merge down, and then simply re-Dynamesh. And there we have it. Now we have those parts subtracted as well. So now we have this helmet hollowed out and also have carved out the eyes and the mouth for the Cyberman here. Now as another example of this, here I just have a, another tool set up. And this tool I've already gone through and set the subtractive modes for all the subtools I want to subtract. And I have Dynamesh set on for these guys. So the top subtool here has Dynamesh on and a resolution of 1024. And if I turn these all on right now, you're going to see something like this. So I have all these subtools kind of set up to perform all these subtract functions already. And so the process is very fast and pretty simple. So just make sure you have that subtractive icon on, merge down, re Dynamesh, do another merge down, re Dynamesh. Merge down, redynamesh. Merge down, redynamesh. Merge down, redynamesh. And finally, one last merge down and redynamesh. And so there you have it. In a few steps, I've gone through and subtracted or added all those forms. And I now have a very complex shape generated here inside of ZBrush. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!